Good morning, or depending on what time you happen to be watching this video, good evening. This next module that we'll be doing has to do with biomolecules, sometimes called macromolecules. As the name implies, macromolecules are fairly large molecules. They fall into four classes, proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. We'll learn about them through a series of different ways. Here in this Canvas module, there'll be some information for you, links to some videos and some other information. There'll be two in-class lectures that of course won't be in class, they'll be in my living room, but you'll be able to join them via a Zoom conference. And one of the laboratories that we'll do uh, on campus has to do with a group of proteins called enzymes. The module is arranged in that same sort of order of proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. In each case, there's some information that you can have access to before the classes, links to videos and other information, like I say. I'll have the PowerPoints that I'll use will be posted there. You can print them or follow along. There are probably some typographical errors. We'll work on those to get, and get that sorted out. Um, and the Zoom lectures themselves will be recorded, and you can look at them again later on and fill in some gaps of the things that you might have missed the first time through. If we were in class, I'd give you a handout, as I would for a lot of my classes. This is the handout I would give you. It's the front and back of a sheet of paper. It sort of lists those four different classes and has some fill-in-the-blank spots for naming some specific, for example, proteins and indicating what their functions are. Same for carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. I can't give it to you because we're not going to be in class. But there's a link right below this little picture of me that you can click on and get access to that handout. If you have access to a printer, it'd be a good idea to print this out before these lectures so you can fill in the blanks as we're going along. If you don't have a printer, don't despair. They're fairly straightforward. You can draw a chart like this on a couple of sheets of paper. In any event, they would be very useful as study guides for preparing for the quizzes or for the exams. A common theme uh, that you'll find when studying these biomolecules is the idea that in many cases they are polymers consisting of a series of monomers linked together. The monomers, you can think of as sort of like links in a chain or building blocks that a child might play with. They're similar to each other. And you link those links together and build a chain or you stack the blocks together and build some structure of some sort. To get acquainted with this, there's a couple of videos. The first video that's down there is from a group called the Amoeba Sisters. They're terrific. You'll see lots of videos from the Amoeba Sisters during this class. This one has to do with biomolecules. And they start off by explaining these different, what monomers and polymers are. They go on to talk about more about the biomolecules, and that would be useful as an introduction to our classes. But for right now, make sure you understand this concept of monomers and polymers. Right below that is another video. This one's from a British woman preparing her students for the so-called A-level exams in Britain that they would be taking. Sort of like the, the same kind of material we'll talk about here. And it's the same material that the Amoeba Sisters talk about, monomers, polymers, and the classes of biomolecules. Again, at this juncture, pay most attention to understanding what monomers and polymers are. Use the rest of it for an introduction to our classes and later on as a review. So, enjoy the videos. I hope you can print off that uh, worksheet, and I'll see you in class on Monday morning.